Okay, good, we're back. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I was just saying you should categorize this under anime squad. Anime squad, what? Yeah, it's just like... Oh no, wait, that says it's a first-person shooter game, but then when you go into it, it's just like random anime stuff. So never mind. I thought it was like, just for like, anime stuff. There should just be like an anime category, like anime game category. Visual <laughs> novel. <clears throat> mm -hmm. We're gonna watch a dude press A for 20 hours. <laughs> I mean, there is like a category now that's I'm only sleeping. Hey, 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 I press X to move the, t the text and everything, but I also press triangle when I have to answer the phone, okay? Oh, shit, you press triangle so So a little more complicated than you're making it out to be. <laughs> the RBI, well, go I'm please. sorry. Okay. Alright. <laughs> well, I, uh, I didn't get this line before my everything broke, so, uh... Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> How fitting that it's the one that Chris Chan has mentioned it. But Chris Chan, you said before that time machines don't exist, right? But now they admit they, and you admit they do. That's just uh, I have to admit it for now. If we investigate how the phone wave works, it might turn out to be something that only seems like time travel. Does nobody have any respect for my grand declaration? Don't complain if I take all the credit for inventing the first, second, whatever, time machine in human history. I should also mention that the feed on Discord went down, too, so... Oh, my bad. I mean, it's not your fault, your shit died. <laughs> yeah. Don't get Spectrum Internet, everyone, it's fucking terrible. I don't know if I can say what I wanted to say, because it's a funny joke, but Twitch doesn't like funny jokes. Mm. Unfortunately, Spectrum is the only option where I live, so, uh, yeah. I'll get now. The 66th Roundtable Conference ends here. Dismissed! Wait, that was a Roundtable Conference? I didn't know that. It's even the 66th. Who cares what kind of table it is? Kurisu gets up from her chair and stretches. I'm gonna go back to my hotel, take a shower, and sleep. Come on, Chris Jan, we know you're not gonna do that second one. <laughs> my Yoshi has to go to work soon. Fucking. <laughs> I know what that reminds me of. Whitey! Eat crazy nights! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm incredibly tired, too. Let's just sleep for today. Zach, when we're about ready for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go fuck yourself. If I could, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can. <laughs> well, I mean... Not on stream. With a rake. I don't want to do that. But when I lie down, I find myself unable to sleep. Though part of me is still frightened by the dark secrets we've uncovered, the curiosity and excitement are too much to bear. We've built a machine that can send emails to the past. It's like a dream, but it's real. And it's ours. As I start thinking of ways to use it, my imagination spreads out to infinity, driving the last vestiges of fear from my mind. Email to the past. P mails. I've got to get back to the past. Yeah, Samurai Jack. Oh, yeah. I'm standing in absolute darkness. How long have I been here? I can't remember. I can't move. I can't feel. I can't see. The world is empty. No, not empty. A voice resounds in the blackness, as if whispering in my ear, as if screaming from far away, as if dozens of people around me are speaking at once. Where am I? 
Uh, you want to be this uh, voice that's whispering in my ear? Whispering, but also screaming. Yeah. And a bunch of people. You! Are beyond the event horizon! You! Crank that soldier boy! <laughs> that's what I was going for with you! <laughs> you! And this was 2010. Soldier boy, I tell loves. Where time and space switch places. The majority of that song is either him going, Oh, or you. Cray that on a butt. Why we cray that Robocop? <laughs> Suddenly the darkness is dispelled. Cool! Oh my god. There was a big bag in my pants. It's a rug from the doctor's <laughs> office. Oh my god, a PNG! <laughs> An ocean of stars fills the heavens. The sight is breathtakingly beautiful. However, one point in space lacks stars. I notice that point. I stare at that point. My body starts to fall. I'm falling through the sea of stars. <gasps> I just noticed I have my headphones in the wrong ears. That's why I've been feeling weird. <laughs> Yeah, maybe fix that. Yeah. No, not falling. I'm being pulled. Pulled into a rift of utter darkness from which not even light can escape. In an instant, my consciousness has exceeded the speed of light. S stars flash past and vanish from sight. <gasps> Hiccup. Light itself is but dust in my wake. Logic screams that this cannot be. Nothing can move faster than light. That would contradict the theory of relativity, but not the theory of Sonichu. You aren't moving. That voice again. It comes from behind, overtaking <laughs> my faster than light consciousness. At the same time, it seems to lie in wait at my destination. Why do I hear Christina's voice? Oh, it's Chris It's Christina. <laughs> you want to do your Chris Chan then? <laughs> aren't moving <laughs> those same words remember what I said here's space and time switch places and they zap to the extreme <laughs> you can't move through space but you can cross dimensions <laughs> <laughs> fucking I heard those last two notes and all I could think of was the fucking song from Zelda Oh. But your time is stretching out to eternity. <laughs> the song of storms. Oh no, I was thinking. Like, I think in Ocarina of Time, it's where you get, like, the fairy caves and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I was doing the song of storms. Well, you're wrong. That's not the one I was talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I accelerate. I can hardly breathe. It feels like something is crushing my body. One second for you, an eternity for me. As I observe you from it's, it's not Chris Chan anymore, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I still see you as a I see you as a still object. I fall. I'm pulled. To the depths of the dark. Or perhaps to the end of the universe. But even beyond the speed of light, I'll never reach it. Am I looping? No, that's not it. Is the end running away from me? That's not it either. Stretching. What is stretching? Space? Me? Don't look back. <laughs> I'm back. Hey! Sir, uh, reboot it. This is, um, this is, uh, uh, Kurisu speaking. Yeah. I don't. Oh, shit. I didn't even know it was, like, going again. Like, how much of the stream? Oh. Her saying eternity is not infinite. Right. Time stretches towards eternity. Yet it has an end. Something approaches. 
It approaches slowly, a stark contrast to the stars flashing past. Is it really approaching? It looks like it's standing still. Its slowness gives it that illusion. I don't know what it is! But it is something. The event rising. <laughs> I try to reach towards it, but my hand won't move. Don't look back. You will see only yourself, trapped in a second stretched out to eternity. It's still, I, I'm slowing to a stop, but still I keep falling. The end never comes. The end is never. An, asymp an asymptotic approach to zero. Asymptotic. When will this second pass? Time and space have switched places. Change places! A second stretched out to infinity. One second becomes point one seconds. Point one seconds becomes point oh one seconds. <laughs> 0.01 seconds becomes 0.0001 seconds. 0.0001 seconds. 0.0001 seconds. 0.0001 seconds. Be reading that like Mr. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Uh, that many seconds. There's a lot of O's and one. Uh, when will I arrive? Gradually, time shortens. <laughs> Gradually, my perception of time lengthens. Face forward. Struggle on. No matter how close I get, I can never reach. To the demon lord's gate. Oh, now you're making fun of me. Oh, fuck. We're the isekai? Suddenly her words take on an amused tone. The demon lord's gate. You don't have the key. You can't pry it open. I try to shout. But my mouth won't move. I have no mouth and I must scream. I mustn't look back. You will be captured by the Demon Lord's minions. Ah, shit. Uh -oh. Pictures from the Jellyman's report oh. flicker through my brain. Thought we lost you again there. No. no. My body. No. Oh, oh. Don't look back. I want to look back. I want to go back. I can't look back. I can't go back. I face towards the thing. I face the future of becoming a jelly man while frozen for eternity. by a melody, I slowly open my eyes. Instead of an ocean of stars, I see the lab's familiar ceiling. Oh, what a bad dream. It's bright out. What time is it? My phone is ringing. It says I have mail. This must be what woke me up. Anyway, what the hell's uh, going on here? Oh god, I got a bunch! Oh. It's all shining fingers. <laughs> From that fucking shining bitch. <laughs> oh, is that the... That's the stalker yeah, girl. Peter? Yeah. Okay. I came like you said, Okabe. You promised to show me the IBN 5100, remember? Are you there? Your windows are open and the lights are off. If you're there, could you open the door? I'm out front. Name that again. male demon again? 
Uh, Moeka is her name. Oh, I can't... Okay. I thought I told her to stop with the spam. But I didn't look at the rest of them. Yeah, there's four more. Jesus. Are you asleep? Ignoring me, maybe? I'm climbing the stairs now. Uh-oh. Oh. Please reply. Are you pretending to be out? I'm coming to the door. Oh, fuck. I was going to knock, but the hallway's dark and scary. I'm afraid something will jump out if I make any noise. <laughs> okay, she's suddenly less intimidating. <laughs> Did you go out? Where are you? Are you still in Akabara? I checked the clock. It's 9 a.m. I slept for over 15 hours. No wonder I feel so lethargic. I stifle a yawn as I unlock the door. Ah. When I open the door, I see Shining Finger, Kiryu Moeka, standing there looking down at her phone. I was asleep. Her expression doesn't change, but she bows her head slightly. I guess that's her way of saying sorry. I guess I can't just leave her standing there. I reluctantly invite her in, then shut the door and collapse back onto the sofa. I'm still half asleep. I went to the trouble of inviting her in, but Moeka just stands in the corner of the room. Covered in sweat. Judgmental. <laughs> Observational. <laughs> Come into my house. <laughs> Talk about my appearance. <laughs> I just had a little taste of what it's like to be a particle drifting through space. That was one hell of a nightmare. Maybe I'm more shocked by the truth of CERN's experiments than I thought I was. At any rate, I'm still drowsy. My vision's a little blurry, too. I feel like yawning again. I fail to stifle it this time. So, you came to see the IBN 5100. Moika nods. Then she starts entering something on her phone. We're face to face. <laughs> Why is she sending me mail? I've never seen anyone act like this before. I could come look, remember? True. I did say that. <clears throat> but if you're going to visit someone, don't you usually let them know beforehand? I didn't mean to disturb you, but I need to see the IB1, IBN 5100. I can show you, but did you have to come so early? Wait, I get it. Your true intention is to do an article on me, isn't it? Like back when we first met and she took a picture of my face without permission. Since I am the infamous mad scientist Hoin Kyoma, I am quite the delicious topic. In my dealings with dark powers, I've learned secrets that could topple governments. People would love to get their hands on my knowledge. Of course, that's why I'm being chased by the organization. <laughs> and that's why I refuse all interviews and photo ops. And now comes this woman aiming to get me while I'm still half asleep. A dirty trick, but effective. <clears throat> but Moeka doesn't react to my sharp accusation. Am I wrong about her? Is it okay? Oh, now she's talking. Too bad I don't understand what she means. Is what okay? Annie, are you okay? <laughs> I don't miss the way Moeka quickly scans the room. Please show me the IBN 5100. Is she like a robot or something? Maybe. But, but no. <laughs> Fine, but just look. After you look, you leave, okay? I won't sell or lend it to her no matter what. That machine is critical to our hacking operation against CERN, the enemy. Moeka bites her lip. But she soon nods faintly. <clears throat> I open the curtains to the development room. 
Off to the side is the cardboard box with the IBM 5100 inside. It's in that cardboard box over there. I point to it by jerking my chin. Hey, are you jerking my chin over there? Moeka slowly walks up to the cardboard box, takes a breath, and peeks inside. Uh -huh. Her eyes instantly light up, and she stares at the machine in fascination. Maybe she's not only a male demon, but also a retro PC maniac? Or maybe she's even a pervert with a retro PC fetish? No way. I don't want to live in the same world as perverts of that level. After staring at the IBM 5100 for a few moments, Moeka starts cheerfully typing out a mail. What an annoying woman. I want to take a picture. No unauthorized photographs. First, show me the camera you're going to use. Unless I place strict restrictions on photography, she might snap my picture when I'm not paying attention. I'm being chased by the organization, so I can't expose my face to the media. Moeka stops moving once I give her my instructions. Just place the camera you're getting get, you're going to use on that shelf so I can see it, okay? No funny business. Moeka silently places her phone on the shelf. But she doesn't let go. She keeps her hand on it. That's it? You're going to use your phone camera? Moeka nods, still expressionless. I thought she was doing a magazine article, but if she's using her phone, something tells me she's not very good at her job. Or maybe she's so nervous about interviewing me that she forgot her camera. At any rate, I'm starting to feel sorry for her. Alright, you can take as many pictures as you want, but on one condition. No face shots. If you take a picture of me, I'll have no choice but to silence you. I don't want your picture. But why not? I'm handsome. Oh. Moeka starts shooting the IBM 5100. She doesn't even glance at the great hole in Kyoma. <laughs> she may act like she doesn't care, but I can tell she's waiting for me to lower my guard. She can't deceive these eyes of mine. A picture of me is worth millions to the right people. Given her stalker-like behavior, it seems safe to assume that I am the true focus of her interest. But I won't be exposed so easily. I feel sorry for her, but I can't let the organization find me. I've been on the run for so long that caution has become habit. Leave no trace of where you've been. Stay vigilant around the clock. That's how you stay alive. I keep my guard up, ready to respond with lethal force should she attempt to take my picture. But five minutes later, and she's still focused on the IBM 5100, it's like I'm not even in the room. She dares attack my pride. A fearsome opponent indeed. Thirty minutes later, Moeka is still taking pictures. The period between shutter sounds is lengthened, but she's still adjusting her angle for every shot. Her expression is completely serious. Come on, it's a computer, not a supermodel. I watch her work from the lounge as I munch on a breakfast banana. <sighs> oh. I would have preferred to get something from the convenience store, but I didn't want to leave Moika alone. I know the IBM 5100 is too heavy for her to carry, but still, there's no telling what this fanatic will do if I let her out of my sight. Suddenly, I get another mail. I, I, oh, she put it in the subject. I want to oh. borrow the 5100. Can I? I already said no. I direct my answer towards the development room. Besides, that thing weighs a ton. You can't carry it by yourself. If you could help me... Oh, wait. The subject. I keep missing the subject. Yeah, she did it again. Great. If you could help me carry it. Wait a minute. Why are you assuming I'll lend it to you? I already said I wouldn't. Really? Really. 
No matter what? No matter what. Once again, she does her thing, typing on her Ooh. phone at high speed. Oh my god! Oh, Miss Chrysalis, thank you! Her. How are you tonight? A five month streak. Oh shit. Oh shit, that is a five month streak, damn. Wow. Be more enthusiastic. Wow! <laughs> wow. Was, was that enough for you? No. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna yell at you. Pretty good, I'm glad you're good. I'm also good. If I'm being honest. Uh, oh me. You, meanie. Does she really have to send me a one word mail? You gonna lurk for a bit? Well, happy lurking to you. I appreciate you. What a troublesome woman. Now listen well. The Phantom Retro PC, the IBN 5100, has chosen me, Hoenn Kyoma, as its contractual master. That's the undeniable truth. Not even God can change this decision, for it is the choice of Stein's Gate. Besides, I'm only borrowing the IBN 5100's power. When I'm done with it, I'm returning it to its original owner. Who? Who's the original owner? Tell me. Stop with the mails already! I can't tell you I swore a blood oath to maintain secrecy and protect the original owner from those who desire the IBN 5100. I mean, anything could happen. Moeka might seduce Luca's dad, for instance, and get him to lend her the IBN 5100, and then I couldn't complain if Moeka took it away. I must avoid that situation at all costs. Of course, I don't think Moeka can seduce anyone with her personality, and since Luca's dad has a wife and kids, I don't think he'd fall easily either. You can at least tell me where you found it, right? I'm probably just thinking too much. Moeka, meanwhile, is staring at the floor in what I assume is defeat. I am not without sympathy for your plight. <clears throat> I formed a contract with the IBN 5100 for my own goals. After I achieve those goals, you can negotiate with the original owner to form a contract of your own. When I return the IBN 5100 to Yanabayashi Shrine, Ragnarok will be over and the fate of the world will have already been decided. And when Ragnarok is over, whether it ends in victory or defeat, my life as Hoenn Kyoma will be... No. Forget what I said. This is no time to be thinking about the future. After all, my future is already... <clears throat> anyway, where was it? Jeez, I had some good angst going there. She's just oblivious to the mood. The IBN 5100 was at Yanabayashi Shrine. Just then, I hear the sound of the door opening. Moeka twitches. I look into the lounge to see Daru wiping the sweat off his brow with a towel as he comes in. What's up, fuckers? It's your favorite fat fuck. <laughs> Triple F for short. Triple F. Guten Morgen. He was the uh, he was the prototype in, uh, in WWF for Triple E Triple H. <laughs> Yeah. Mmm, Joshua Early. <laughs> Ever since university went into summer break, Daru has been coming to the lab in the morning less and less. But then, then, then again, he's also been staying up all night more and more. Anyway. I went to bed early. Woke up at five this morning. Man, it's hot. It's not supposed to be this hot in the morning. Oh, 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 green. Who's a syrup? Sorry. Sexy 3D woman. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me introduce you. This is Shining Finger, Kiryu Moeka. Shining Finger. Does her hand glow with an awesome power? You were doing a little solid snake there. Shining. Shining Finger. finger. Metal Colonel. Gear. 
Uh, nah. No, but she's definitely an Esper. <laughs> an Esper? That's stupid. <laughs> Watch her type. You'll see. I'll see. Well, whatever. Welcome to the lab, Kiryu Sheep. Even though Daru bowed his head, Moeka doesn't do so much as look doesn't so much as look at him. She's now looking down at her phone. Not that she ever really looked away. Daru turns red. She like me. <laughs> what, what magnificent ignore skill? Are you looking down at me because I'm a fat ass Ota? <laughs> 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 You're a mainstream woman. I love it when women ignore me. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Moeka, this is my favorite right arm, Super Hakadaru. This is my favorite fucking fat ass, what'd you call him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 favorite fat fuck. Favorite fat fuck. Triple F. <laughs> Moeka lowers her chin imperceptibly. Was that supposed to be a bow? Her expression hasn't changed at all. Everything Daru says flows cleanly through one ear and out the other. <clears throat> and she was so eager to meet the Super Hacka before. Hey, Ukraine, did you... do something to her? That's my job. <laughs> like what? We were just taking pictures. Don't say it like that! He's gonna get the wrong idea! Oh my god! Oh my god! I have to say this? Yep. Pictures. Pictures? So you're gonna blackmail her and force her to be our sex toy? What? This fucking dude! <laughs> Stop <laughs> applying arrow gay logic to reality! My bad. Dara's jokes aren't helping. See, that's right. the thing, though. I, I struggle to think that some of these are jokes. Yeah, no, especially, like, that with a person in the room he's never met before. Yeah. Like, oh, sex toy. If fucking any normal person would have just up and fucking left, but she's uh, got uh, computer tisms. Woman, me want. <laughs> right, wife. Life good. Why fight back? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Alright, I thought of some upgrades we could make to the phone wave. Like what? You know how it's a huge pain in the ass to send emails to the past? Yeah. <clears throat> I want to simplify that process. Oh, and also make it possible to forward from the phone wave's dedicated phone. Forward? What do you mean? The opposite of backwards, dipshit! Eh, okay. <laughs> Right now, you can only send an email to the phone attached to the phone wave, right? That's right. In yesterday's experiments, my phone was attached to the phone wave, named subject to changes, socket, so my inbox got flooded with D-mails. <laughs> That's pretty inconvenient. If we give the phone wave's dedicated phone a forwarding function, we can use it to send D-mails to any number we want. How long will that upgrade take? Forty-five years! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Two or three hours? That's if you help me, though. Understood. I'll help. Okay. Fuck. Daru really is reliable. If not a horny fuck. Hmm. I walk up to him with my hand raised for a high five. But he completely <laughs> ignores it, sits on the sofa, and begins eating. Oh, you. You leave me Damn hanging, you fat Lord. fuck. <laughs> Damn it! Pay attention, Daru. I slowly lower my hand. Whatever. <laughs> Once the upgrades are complete, we'll gather the lab mems and begin discussing serious D-mail use. It's time to think about the practical applications of sending mail to the past. Another mail? Just now, you said something about sending email to the past, didn't you? What does that mean? Tell me. Durr, you idiot! How could you make such a basic mistake? 
Moeka, whose eyes have never once left her phone, is now staring straight at me. I need to talk my way out of this somehow. She may just be a part-timer, but she's still a journalist of, sh of sorts. <gasps> if she learns that we've built the world's first time machine, there's no way we'll be able to keep it under wraps. Well, the organization is sure to find out. I can't let that happen. You misheard us. <laughs> no. That's about how I figured it would go. <laughs> Moeka shakes her head. Damn, how didn't that work? <laughs> I know what I heard. Moeka's pretty persistent. Jedi mind trick. Are you sure? N I am not sure. I know that because of her mail attacks. She won't let me escape so easily. What should I do? In frustration, I put my phone to my ear. It's me. There's a problem. No, not that. Information on number eight got leaked to a third party. Yeah, I know. I need to do something. Depending on the situation, I may have to silence her. Yeah, I know. We can't let the organization know about this. Stein's Gate seems to enjoy sending trouble my way. <laughs> Don't worry. My seat in hell can wait until Ragnarok is over. El Sai Kongro. Mm. I put my phone in my pocket and turned back to Moeka. <laughs> Who was that? Uh, uh, D Daru. I, I'm over here. <laughs> it doesn't concern you. That's like texting somebody when you're looking right at- what, what? what's she doing? Texting someone while looking right at me. What the fuck?! <laughs> <laughs> Moeka looks down and begins typing another mail. Are you SB? Facebook. What the hell does that mean? I'm not Facebook! <laughs> Since she didn't include her usual signature, does that mean she was in a hurry? Her expression didn't change at all, though. Oh, I'm not Mark Zuckerfuck. <laughs> Zuck and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Zuck and huh? Zuck and hot to her. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, I disregard the male's contents and take one step towards Moeka. She makes no attempt to escape. I'm standing between her and the door. Kiryu Moeka, you must swear to protect our secret. Or die. <laughs> Choose now. No time to think it over. No alternatives either. You have learned our secret, and now you must pay the price. You kill me? You'll kill me? Only if you try to go public. Underestimate the insane mad scientist Hoin Kyoma at your per. Are you at it again, Okarin? Daru's standing behind me. Ooh. I should have known by the by the glass of water rippling. <laughs> <laughs> by the sound of <laughs> of nukes going off. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to that beautiful babe, little man? <laughs> Are you going to make her... I'm not going to say that again. <laughs> I turn around in surprise. Everybody's favorite fat fuck. <laughs> Get you, she was it? Look at him scrambling, kind of crazy. So it's okay to ignore him when he talks like this. Can't you see what's going on, super hacker? Yeah, I see that you're a fucking idiot. Oh... Okay. Imbecile. Because of your careless tongue, she found out that the phone wave, name subject change, is a time machine. A uh, time machine? Damn it! <laughs> no, uh, that was pretty careless, too. Good. This is awful. Everything that could go wrong has. You fucking moron. How do I recover? You Use your time machine. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Cool. <laughs> First, I need to silence Moeka. I don't say it. 
gonna go back in time. Doo -doo -doo. Good morning. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Are you? <laughs> Do you want me to go downstairs? Do you want to come upstairs? I'm talking to a closed door. Okay. Oh, well, Do you want to come? Hang on. Do you want to come up to bed? Do you not have enough friends? <laughs> <laughs> Let us all talk to closed doors. Sorry. I guess. <laughs> I can't do that. I actually have friends. Oh, oh. Kareen, my Yushi wants to warm up some chicken before you start the time travel experiment. God damn it, everybody's saying it. I drop to my <laughs> knees in utter despair. <laughs> We're finished. It's impossible to talk our way out of this one. Kiryu Moeka, I'll tell you everything. And I have a favor to ask. Tremble, right arm of mine. By the covenant I command thee. Come forth, hellfire of darkest black. Fulfill my desire for ultimate destruction. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Rawr! I pull hard with both my arms, tearing the microwave door free with a terrible screech. Terrible is right. No, that must hurt. That's just hurt. The screws were loosened, but it sounds like I might have broken something too. Well, whatever. Ah, now I. Oh, that's not that's me. That's not you. <laughs> I'm a stupid fuckhead with a dumb butt. You're definitely not everybody's favorite fat fuck. No. Now, now I can't warm up any more chicken. This isn't a microwave anymore, it's a time machine. That's not fair. Go buy a new microwave, Okabay. Or Ocarine. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> Besides, this was Daru's idea. To rip it open. Removing the microwave door means we means we don't have to open it every time we want to send a email. There I am, rubbing my eye. Daru is currently reprogramming the microwave so that it won't stop when the door's open. Hey. Heh. He's already programmed the forwarding feature. Quit taking pictures! What the fuck, dude? I'm Micah takes here. a picture with her phone. <laughs> I cover the lens with my hand. I told you, no pictures! In commemoration... In commemoration... Oh, God. In commemoration... In commemoration... In I can talk. My now, my now. Of what? Anyway, no pictures. Moeka complies. <laughs> I registered her as Lab Mem number 5 just a bit earlier. It was a choice between letting her leak word of the time machine or forcing her to join our group. I reluctantly chose the latter. <sighs> I've gone soft. The old me would have killed her without a second thought. Moeka is standing right next to me, but my monologue has no effect. Looks like she wants to ask me something. What is it? <sighs> Is it really the time machine? Duh! Is it really the time machine? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a microwave to me. Yes, you'll see. But you can't tell anyone, okay? Moeka nods. Uh, so don't post it on the Facebook like I just did? You what?! <laughs> Look at this guy's microwave time machine. God damn it, I am Facebook and I told you no! <laughs> to fuckerberg. <laughs> Alright, program complete. <sighs> Kurisu, lying on the sofa, looks up from the technical manual she was reading. She got here about 30 minutes ago. Just by the way. Then let's resume the experiments. But the manager scold- But won't the manager scold us again? Don't worry. Yesterday I made this promise with Mr. Brown. I swear there won't be any more shaking today. Oh. 
In other words, the no-shaking promise only applied yesterday, so since today is yesterday's tomorrow, we can shake it all we want. <laughs> shake it once, that's fine. History shake is... It twice, that's okay. Wait, yesterday is history, today. Today is tomorrow's history. <sighs> that doesn't settle anything. Why you're so confident is a mystery to me. In other words, Christina, you want me to erase Mr. Braun. No. I'm killing him. You gave me permission. Besides, I don't think a wimp like you stands a chance against him. Fucking excuse me? He's so muscly! <laughs> Unfortunately, it's impossible to experiment without shaking the building. I have no choice but to negotiate with Mr. Braun somehow. The other four members look at me in anticipation. Are they planning to sacrifice me? Is this the choice of Stein's Gate? But how do I... While trying to think of a way to avoid talking to the manager, I wander over to the window and look outside. Hmm? The street below is mostly empty. A girl is polishing her bicycle in front of the building. A much younger girl is squatting next to her, watching her work. They're alone. I can only see the backs of their heads from here, but I know who they are. Hey you! Part-time warrior! You! Boy! What day is it? <laughs> Why, it's Christmas <laughs> Day! I said... <laughs> <laughs> when I call her, Suzuka, Suzuha looks left and right while wiping the sweat off her brow before finally looking up here. Stop. The girl beside her also looks up, and zooms in. Cindy Lou who? <laughs> this cute little girl is Ten Noji Nai, Mr. Brown's only daughter. Looks like she came to play with her father today. I've always wondered how it's possible for such a muscular man to spawn such a cute girl. Nai bows her head when we make eye contact. I return the nod, then call out to Suzua. What are you doing there? <clears throat> Can't you tell? I'm polishing my bicycle. And then, uh, and then Daru walks over. I got something you could polish. Yeah, you <laughs> I wouldn't say little. that. I'd say it in a worse, creepier way. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you working today? Of course I am. Why else would I be here? <laughs> you're polishing your bicycle even though you're at work? I mean, I guess the store barely has any customers. By the way, what I said is extremely fucked up if, uh, for reasons that will be revealed later, but don't worry about it. Oh, okay. To put it bluntly, was there even a need for a part-timer? What? Is she still tinkering with that bike of hers? I got something you can tinker with. Are, are there HCs in this game? There are not. Okay. <laughs> I can hear Kurisu's sa- yeah, sour. Sour voice from inside the lab. She was there when I came in, glaring at me. Looks like they're still fighting. Hey, part-time warrior, where's Mr. Brown? Ah, oh, goddammit, well, hold on. Oh, it's from Lukaku. It's not from Shining Finger for once. <laughs> My dad usually at class. It took this long to respond to it? <laughs> yeah, that... Wasn't it a Holy day before? Shit. Yeah. My dad usually acts normal, but he gets strange when only around when only family members are around. Like, why was I raised as a girl? Oh God, why was I raised as a girl in the first place? Dad says that I was supposed to have another sister born before me, but when I asked mom, she said it was. She said he was making it up. So I'm kind of fed up with him. P.S. I did ten practice swings. <laughs> Uh, which one should we do? Um, making it up. Okay. <clears throat> How does she know he was lying? Your father may be embracing some darkness deep within his heart that he hides from everyone. Hey, part-time warrior, where's Mr. Brown? Mr. Braun? Who's that? The manager of that junk shop you work at. 
He plays for the Los it's not Angeles a junk Lakers. shop. It's a <laughs> CRT specialty shop. My assistant's so picky. Junk shop was just a joke to add a little hoin kyoma spice to the mix. <clears throat> oh, so that's who you meant. <laughs> you get to be the little girl. <laughs> the little girl diligently corrects us on her father's name. <clears throat> she must not get the joke. <clears throat> His name is Daddy. <laughs> the boss is up. on a service trip. <laughs> I don't think he'll be back for a while. What? Is that true? It's true. I wouldn't be slacking off like this otherwise. Don't slack <laughs> off in public. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, nah, don't tell the boss I said that, okay? I had a, uh, I had a manager at my, in my last job who would, uh, constantly, uh, tell me, Hey, Zach, quit slacking off, and I'd just be like, I don't do that in public, dude. <laughs> It's a blessing from the gods. I give my gratitude to part-time warrior and shift my attention back inside. <laughs> you heard her. This must be the choice of Stein's Gate. Mr. Braun is currently absent. In other words, we can experiment to our heart's content. That doesn't solve the problem, you know. I'm telling you, it's the choice of Stein's Gate. Roll credits. <laughs> oh, oh, we did it! Oh god! Oh god! I don't like how he disappeared! <laughs> he did Whatever. the instant transmission. <laughs> Whatever. I want to try out the Phone Wave Second Edition V1.03. Second attention versus verse erosion? Second edition. Second edition. Second edition. Second edition version 1.03. How did we get to 1.03? Fuck you, quit asking questions. Okay. Enough of your unsophisticated names. The upgraded version shall be known as Heavenly Merry Go Round. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that sucks. <laughs> Man, my PS3 is making a lot of noise all of a sudden. Oh, it is old. You're old. The name doesn't matter. Let's just start the experiment. Farah. The sound Farrah. of a camera <laughs> interrupts our quarrel. <laughs> Malika has her phone pointed at us. How many times have I told her not to take pictures? <laughs> You looked like you were having fun. <laughs> Good. Mahiri smiles happily. Daru doesn't react. Kurisu turns away in a huff. Hardly. I'm fed up with these people and they're fooling around. What was that about fooling around? This... Oh, no. That's you. This assistant is such a Sunday. A sun deer. Tea soon dairy. <laughs> Who are you calling a two sun dairy? Soon dairy. Two sun dairy. Oh, fuck you say she. You know what sun dairy means? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think you do. It's written all over your face. Mm. <laughs> he knows what it means. Kurisu bites her lip. So she is familiar with otaku culture. I wonder how she got that knowledge while living in America. 
Maybe she went to Otakon. He isn't big over here. Well, I mean, it actually wasn't that big back there. Moink is tired of waiting. I mean, I went to Otakon in 2010. I was 11 in 2010, so I was going to school and playing weekend sports. Yeah, but it's a summer thing. I was playing weekend sports. <laughs> I was 26, so I was drunk and... I, I was, I was 18, and a trip to Otakon was my, uh, was my graduation present. I... I feel like a child. You are a child. Shut up! No, I'm not! I'm Look 25. at your baby. I'm, a, I'm okay with baby. <laughs> I'm not your baby. <laughs> She's shown great interest here. in the time machine ever since we told her the truth. Oh! <laughs> I popped my neck. Oh! oh. I, I, I was like, huh? I, I thought you... I thought you fucking got a hernia or some shit, you old fuck! No. <laughs> you fucking went, oh, oh my god. <gasps> Did he have a fucking stroke? My hip! <laughs> of course, I made her promise never to write an article about it. I threatened to take her phone away if she breaks her oath. The phone wave, name subject to change, is ready to send a D-mail whenever we are. I'm setting it up so it forwards to Okarin's phone. Wave. Some name. <laughs> Daru types my phone's email address into the X68000's keyboard. We decided Mayuri was going to be the one to send the D-mail, so she starts typing on her phone. We set the microwave timer to 60 pound sign and press start. Even though the door uh, has been a moved. Hashtag. <laughs> you... No! That... <laughs> that's a hash brown. <laughs> oh, I miss Sorry. when those were affordable. <laughs> Even though the door has been removed, the microwave runs like always. Uh oh. Oh! oh, oh uh -oh. What do we do? The graphics! The discharge phenomenon occurs once I'm asleep and before I wake oh, up. Oh fuck, I'm discharging! <laughs> My Yuri's mail goes through the phone wave, named subject to change his dedicated phone to mine. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> wow, you got that. It's all you. There, it was all you. My Yoshi. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! It really... Moika jump scare. Moika stares at my phone in what I assume is disbelief, though it's hard to tell given her lack of expression. What do you think? This proves that the phone wave, name subject to change, is an honest-to-goodness time machine. Moika just keeps staring at my phone. Hey. Part-time warrior's voice comes from outside the window. It's shaking again, and there's a strange light, too. What are you doing up there? <clears throat> I got a little excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, everybody's favorite fat fuck. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I decide to ignore her. Mr. Brown is one thing, but she doesn't scare me at all. Now then, lab mems. I assemble all the lab members, including Moeka, for a meeting. The 73rd Round Table Conference will come to order. 73rd? We've had seven since the last time? I was about to say, wasn't yesterday, like, 66 or something? Yeah! Why the fuck have we had seven? Oh, shit! Yesterday was the 66th. Oh, yeah. Sorry, that's a Kurisu line. Also, I got new mail. What's a round table conference? Tell me. Yesterday was the 66th. Where's the other six go? This is the most informal round table I've ever seen. Well, for one, it's not even round. I'm looking at it right now. Well, Daru's there. He's round. That's got to count for something. Uh, well, okay, that's fair. 
I was waiting for like a new day, but I might just have to oh. say this round <laughs> will be the end. I gotta head to bed. All, All right. right. Uh, I, I don't know how long this will take, but we'll we'll finish up here. I'll read this line. Only anal retentive bastards care about the minor details. That's why you'll never be more than an assistant, Christina. Excuse me, Alcarin. Did you just say anal? I just really wanted to say that line. It's the last line of the night. Did okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. You bring up a good point. He might he might jump on that. He didn't. Oh, Okay, no. nope. <laughs> <laughs> like oh. I was saying, I'm neither your assistant nor Christina. Well, we'll have to... We'll, <laughs> what a way to end. No kidding. Uh, we'll have to... Uh, figure out uh, where this round square table I, I guess it's a rectangle actually where this rectangular table meeting is going next time but until then thanks for watching thanks for hanging out thanks for uh, voice acting with me um sir is there anyone online that I want to raid if I probably go to the right website for one thing You you just couldn't get through one stream without shutting the fuck up, could you, Siri? <laughs> That's way too funny. Jesus. Well, what's her trigger word? Why would she react to that? <laughs> like, what's her wake word? Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Gugaga. <laughs> You have a good night, too, Miss Chrysalis, and thank you for that uh, sub earlier. Um, I'm gonna raid Hungry Goria. Hungry Diary? Yeah. Borp. Okay. Uh, have a goopy night. Good night, everybody. I gooped. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah.